हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर जयेश जुरेमलानी वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल वंस अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस्ड डिज़ाइन ऑफ सिग्नल्स फॉर टू फेज एंड फोर फेज विद वन एग्जांपल आई विल डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू डिज़ाइन टू फेज सिग्नल्स एंड फोर फेज सिग्नल्स यूजिंग वेफ्टर मेथड एंड वॉट इज द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ दिस वीडियो I will make you uh, understand the difference between the design. What is the main difference between two-phase and four-phase design with the same example and in its effects on the delay. So please watch this video till end. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our upcoming videos. And again, I request you to please press the like button and share with your friends. So let's get started. let us first recall some of the basic definition terminology related to design here means design means we need to calculate the green timing and red timing for the signals so a cycle is the complete rotation through all the indicators provided means green yellow and red and the time required to complete one cycle is known as a cycle length and it is denoted by c now very very important terminology to understand here is the phase a phase is a green interval plus the change and clearance interval that follows it now what is happening during this green interval non conflicting moments are assigned into one phase okay we will understand it uh, in a later stage very clearly because there is the this is the heart of the signal design we need to understand the what is the phase and how in one phase maximum non conflicting moments are allowed another terminology is lost time it is denoted by capital l it indicates the time during which the intersection is not effectively utilized for any moment for example when the signals from an approach turns from red to green the driver of the vehicles which is in front of the queue will take some time to perceive the signal we understand it as a piv uh, theory reaction time and some time will be lost here before he or she starts second terminology is saturation flow okay saturation flow it is the maximum flow that can pass through a intersection from one approach during one signal green timing okay so it is a theoretical flow not the actual flow theoretically maximum vehicles that can pass during one green signal timing one green signal length now how to find it how to find this so webster has given the formula for finding out the saturation flow it is like s is equal to phi to phi w where w is the width of the road but when we can apply this formula when width of the road is greater than 5.5 meter if it is less than 5.5 okay if it is less than 5.5 again webster has given this table for example if uh, this is the unit in meter so if it is 3 meter then consider saturation flow 1850 vehicles if it is 3.5 1874 4 meter 1974 so on so forth up to 5.5 meter 2900 more than 5.5 you have to multiply the width with 5 to 5 and you will get the saturation flow now again phase design as i told you earlier we will see with one example how to design two phase signal and four phase signal so objective of phase design is to separate the conflicting moments in an intersection into various phases so that moments in a phase should have no conflicts now see please understand if all moments are to be separated with no conflicts then a large number of phases are required in such situation the objective is to design a phase with minimum conflicts or with less severe conflicts now see there are four approaches intersection means where two crossroad meets so four approaches each approaches three types of moment 
left hand turning traffic straight traffic right hand turning traffic so if we consider this is approach 1 three types of movement approach 2 again left hand turning traffic straight traffic and right hand turning traffic so total 12 types of movements are there okay along with we have to design in such a manner that less severe conflicting movement or at all no conflicting movement should be allowed in a one phase and this is the formula for determination of cycle length as per the webster one point it is very simple formula here main part is understanding okay otherwise calculus is very very simple so here it is 1.5 into l plus 5 divided by 1 minus y where co is you know is the optimum cycle length t l is the total loss time as i explained to you and again sometime lost in clearing the intersection and sometime lost in reacting so it is total loss time where it is signal is not uh, intersection is not utilized by any vehicle <coughs> at all now and y is nothing but the actual volume divided by saturation flow uh, this is i have taken the intersection from the baroda city vadodara is located in gujarat and uh, this is map is taken from google earth say so, uh, this is the known as the gaurav path this is a 10 kilometer road constructing 12 intersections out of 12 intersection i will explain with the help of one intersection lnt circle this is the google earth image and uh, and right hand side you are seeing the autocad drawing of the same intersection so intersection is nothing but the two cross roads meet at a grid so this road goes to the airport this is road goes to the fatehganj this road is coming from the sama and going towards the karli bag so sama to karli bag fatehganj to airport and this is the the circle is known as a lnt circle or buda circle Now let us first understand the four phase signal design. So as I uh, we see on the picture Fatehgan to airport, okay, we can denote as a north for uh, future uh, understanding. Airport to Fatehgan opposite road it is south. Sama to Karelibag east and Karelibag to Sama west. For understanding purpose, understanding we are taking this four direction. So every time we need to remember the road name north south east west actual flow measured is 964 vehicles from north 1413 vehicles from south 855 vehicles are coming from east and 951 vehicles are coming from west and this is the width of the road now saturation flow using the webster formula 525 multiplied by width so 7350 6825 5775 and 6300 is the saturation flow for respective approaches so y as we see is nothing but the actual flow divided by saturation flow so for example north approach it is 964 divided by 7350 so 0 0.131 similarly 14313 divided by 6825 we have 0 0.207 855 divided by 5775 we will have 0.148 and similarly for waste 951 vehicles actual flow divided by saturation loss that is 6300 answer is 0.151 now see if, if you are designing four phase signal we have to consider all four wires separately and we have to do the summation okay and when we will design the two phase signals we will take lesser of uh, this north south approach lesser value is 0 0.131 east west approach lesser value is 0 0.148 so we will take only lesser value of uh, two approach and do the summation of this this is the biggest difference between two phase and four phase design please understand again i am repeating for two phase design take the lesser value of north south and east west and do the summation but four phase take all the y values and do the summation loss time is 2n plus r so it is 24 where 2n means number of phases okay let's move on. 
Now let us count the optimum cycle length 1.5 into 24 plus 5 1 minus 0.68 which is the summation of all the y's for all the four approaches because we are designing four phase signals. So answer is 113 second when we should take in the multiple of 5 so if it is 113 so let us take 115 suppose answer is 118 so we have to take 120 like this in addition of 5 I am sorry so effective green time will be 115 minus lost time that is 24 so 91 seconds now we have to calculate green time for all the four approaches because we are we are designing four phase approach so north south east west we have to calculate the green time so how to calculate so respective y divided by total y multiplied by total signal time so 0 0.131 divided by 0 0.637 multiplied by 91 so we have the 19 seconds similarly count green time for all the four approaches so here we go so phase 1 that is north phase 2 south phase 3 east and phase 4 west 19 second 30 second 21 second 21 second total if you do the summation of this you will have 91 second plus 24 loss time 115 so very simple only understanding is important phase here we are allowing non means uh, non conflicting movements with at a go we are opening only phase 1 left hand turning traffic straight traffic and right hand turning traffic of only one phase all the movements are non conflicting okay race 3 uh, approaches we are uh, giving them red light okay and signal moves clockwise so clockwise next phase again we are opening that phase, phase three movements of the second phase and rest of the one three four having the red light similarly phase three third approach will get the green line all the three movements are allowed to go left right and right and rest of the four to one approach will be shown red light so at a time saving principle we are allowing non-conflicting movements in four phase design that is the important otherwise calculator is very simple you divide the actual flow divided by saturation flow which is given by the Webster method 525 into W you will get the y1 y2 y3 y4 do the summation of it you put the formula 1.5 plus L into 1.5 into L plus 5 divided by 1 minus y you will have the total signal time De uh, deduct the loss time you have the effective green time and you can divide effective green time into 4 phases as per the traffic this diagram is known as a time diagram okay here you understand first we are giving yellow time yum umber time 3 second first uh, phase 1 green time is 19 as per calculation again directly we will not convert from green to red but we will provide some yellow time umber time so again 3 second and then rest of the time when the phase 2 3 4 will be open phase 1 will be showing the only red that is for 90 second okay now see interestingly when phase 2 will be open so 3 second plus 19 plus 3 after 25 uh, uh, 25th second up to 25 second the phase 2 will show the red light okay then it will convert it into yellow light and as per calculation of green time is 30 second for phase 2 so th for 30 second it it will be showing green time again from it will convert from green will convert from to into yellow for 3 second and rest of the time after 3 second the phase 2 will show the red light up to 54 second similarly all the phases are showing red yellow and green line as per the calculation i hope it is clear to you if any confusion you can write on the comment box i will make you once again clear now see this is two phase design so thumb rule is to first design two phase okay here if we, uh, you calculate the traffic volume count and if you found that right hand here conflicting moment is right hand turning traffic in two phase design what we are doing uh, we are opening six types of moment from opposite approach here the suppose in phase one we are opening uh, so suppose we call this as a 
नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट वेस्ट सपोज वी कॉल एट ए नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट ओके सो सपोज वी आर ओपनिंग दिस ईस्ट वेस्ट अप्रोचेज सो वी आर गिविंग ग्रीन लाइट टू दिस अप्रोचेज सो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मूवमेंट लेफ्ट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक स्ट्रेट एंड राइट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक ओके सिमिलरली हियर लेफ्ट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक स्ट्रेट एंड राइट एंड टर्निंग सिक्स मूवमेंट वी आर ओपनिंग इन फेज वन बट हियर इंटरेस्टिंग टू नॉट इज दैट दैट दीज फोर मूवमेंट्स लेफ्ट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक स्ट्रेट ट्राफिक फ्रॉम ईस्ट एंड लेफ्ट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक एंड स्ट्रेट ट्राफिंग वोस्ट आर नॉन कंफ्लिक्टिंग मूवमेंट्स बट राइट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक दिस इज द कंफ्लिक्ट फ्रॉम टू राइट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक सिमिलरली राइट एंड टर्निंग दिस मूवमेंट हैज कंफ्लिक्ट ओवर हियर सो दिस आर द टू द कंफ्लिक्टिंग मूवमेंट्स वी कैन कोल्ड इज ए कंफ्लिक्टिंग मूवमेंट राइट एंड टर्निंग ट्राफिक now if you found from the traffic volume data the right hand turning traffic is less you can open the six moment data go in phase 1 in phase 2 here you will have the red light okay you have to calculate the uh, green and red timing and apply the red timing over here and north and south approach will be open all the three moments from the north and south will be open again right hand turning traffic have the conflict over here so two two possibilities are there if right hand turning traffic is less you can open six moment at a go two phase relatively delay will be much much lesser another thing if this is a main intersection and parallel other possibility i mean if there is another intersection which is not so important and this is a important intersection so here you can prohibit the right hand turning traffic don't allow the right hand turning traffic only open the four types of non conflicting movements that is left and straight traffic left and straight traffic open the four types of non conflicting movement okay in phase 1 don't allow right hand turning traffic and in phase they, they can be they can allowed in the subsequent next intersection that is one possibility and in phase 2 again you can open four types of movement from north and south but don't allow right hand turning traffic that is one possibility another possibility is go for the three phase signal so in phase 1 you open the left hand straight left hand straight traffic from the opposite approaches in phase 2 only right hand turning traffic for few seconds okay that is the second possibility second phase and third phase you open the sixth moment of the rest of the two approaches so that is also possible that will be three phase signal traffic now let us understand how to find out the green time and red time for two phase so all these are uh, why calculation will be the same as we have already done in four phase signals actual flow divided by saturation flow we have all the same y value but as i told you earlier in a two phase signal design we have to take the lesser value this is the lesser value from north south and 0.415 is the lesser value from east west so 0.131 plus 0.418 0.279 is the y loss time will be the same 24 second let us find out the optimum cycle length 1.5 into l plus 5 1 minus 0.27 Nine. So fifty six second. Now see, okay, it is almost half than the four phase signal. In four phase signal, it was one one five, nearly to we can say one twenty. Here it is nearly sixty, half time than the four phase. Now let us take near to the addition of five. So let us take sixty second. So effectively, green time will be sixty minus. Loss time twenty four that is thirty six second. Now divide the green time in north south and east west. So for north south a point one three one divided by point two seven multiplied by thirty six you have seventeen second. And for east point one four eight divided by point two seven nine multiplied by thirty six nineteen second. Here we go. So effective time is for phase one that is north south approach. Okay, north south approach. 17 second and east west approach green timing is 19 second so similarly the total is the 36 second green time again you can draw the time diagram and calculate the 
ग्रेट टाइमिंग